right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but the same reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeBain. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight, he stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, presenting the Challenger International. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your team. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, big punch land. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. center of the octagon with this opponent. As such, clinches here. He's a very smart fighter. He's very safe. And in the clinch, he understands that he's not in any danger because he's so good when he's in a clinch. And he landed the right hand there. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Circling away towards the left now. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Nice leg kick there by Lee. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. 
back in the switch position. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Take down defense on point. He is a master in transition. Good stick. Oh, a single collar tie there. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch to clinch. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, and he caught the kick. And there comes the separation now. Got clip with the right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice combination of strikes there by Lee. Single collar tie now. Big shot land. Oh, that's a good right hand. Back and forth we go here. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. 20 seconds left. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh. Another big elbow there. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches. And everything. Round two winding down. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will meet Motrin tomorrow. Huh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Real quick leg kick. Oh, collar tie. <laughs> Lee gets in the clinch again. This has historically been a good position for him. Let's see how he attacks here. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, big roundhouse attempt. Just misses. That could have been lights out. Single collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. So 
so he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their call, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Just over three minutes now to go. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. He loaded up on that right hand, too. All right, he's in a half-guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half-guard. You sit back on that leg, you... Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Watch triangle, watch triangle. That. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel, right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish. Oh, now he's in trouble. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Throws the right hand there. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Lee. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Good punch lands. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice elbow in the clinch there up top by Lee. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Try to establish that jab. 20 seconds to go. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Whoa! from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to play the dance as we go forward. Good punch. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target there. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Big leg kick land. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. And it's another huge knee. We got to fight, folks. Oh, is that a massive knee to the head? Could be in trouble here. Oh, nice. Somehow stays 
is in the fight. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. And they separate. It's a beautiful strike. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, a huge block there. All right, single collar tie now. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, big elbow. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. The right hand just misses. What a punch. Lee gets in the clinch yet again. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And they separate. That's a perfect scramble right there. A beautiful transition. Just misses there with the left. Whoa! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, man. He's got his back now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling could really be entertaining. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. That right hand landed. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, side control now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up. When it comes to his aggressiveness, the striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Ooh, what a punch. And they separate. Hey, stop. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. You ready? You ready? All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Big punch land. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice defense there. Huge block. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, knee to the head. That never feels good. 
Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Look at him drive his shin. He was the body on that body kick. Back to the feet now. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Such oh. a fast leg kick. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a... Oh. Holy smokes. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Let's get it inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is called to stop to this contest at one minute, seven seconds of round number four. We're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ruth the Dragon Lee. All right, so heavyweight title retained as the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven he's the elite among the elite of heavyweight. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency to something that is so volatile. What a champion.